hi sudarun good evening and congratulations on your admit you are you. headed to ima pgpx yes ma'am great that's an excellent achievement and uh, do share your work experience uh, i passed out uh, from civil engineering background in 2000 like after a year or so i joined uh, baba atom research center as a scientific officer from there on i have been uh, in department of atomic energy nuclear power corporation and i am into the roles of project management civil engineering project management uh, particularly and uh, serving this organization for the last 7 years almost great so your background is very unique in terms of yes, uh, the sector that you are coming from uh, what were the criteria that were important for you to choose the mba programs the most important thing that uh, like i had to find the uniqueness of my uh, of my roles and responsibilities that i am currently doing and like align them with the uh, things that would be helping me post mba or even during mbas what i found was common with that of my current roles and responsibilities was a form of operational uh, management type of roles that was something that i uh, that i aligned myself uh, along with like in preparation of for my applications and everything and uh, accordingly like uh, since it has been like almost 7 and 8 years after which uh, i am going to uh, do a career change and take a step so i decided i had mentally i had decided one thing that if it is either the top tier colleges only then i am going to go through or else i am not going to take this uh, career change decision absolutely right and in this uh, particular process it's a very lengthy process we all go through the gmat gre and the, the application preparation but there's a very strong mental resolve that is that is involved in this whole process so what right. are your uh, strategies of staying motivated staying dedicated to the uh, discipline that is required for the test prep so what were the okay. things that helped you in that case in any kind of any competitive exam like i have faced competitive exams previously as well the uh, most important thing is uh, putting it to a conclusion be it for in a positive note or be it in a negative note like we need to put conclusion to something so the first and foremost thing that uh, helped me regarding this was uh, i had few colleagues of uh, mine uh, and few good friends uh, and accordingly they had given me as uh, one simple guidance that if you want to go through it you have to go through it immediately and uh, there is no if and but and and one year long two year long program that you need to get through okay, this is the process that i'm going to go through and then i am going to appear for the gmat and then for the application processes and interviews take a time take choose a time frame by which you would be able to be two months be three months be four months book the gmat exam previously so so that you are always on your toes because that is that is the most important thing that that pushes you until and unless you are having the slot book you are always like uh, like you are putting uh, procrastinating things so that is something that i uh, that i took up ma'am i started my uh, uh, studies from almost mid of august and i took one one and a half months uh, for the total uh, studying process uh, prior to applying for the gmat exam and 30th of september i applied for the gmat and uh, got the score immediately the uh, yours is the shortest period that i have heard of you know one and a half months and you are done with gmat excellent so what yes. were what was that magical preparation that helped you ace the gmat test you get you get to know a lot of people who are trying for the exam lot of people who have tried and failed in the exam the most important thing that i that helped me was getting in touch with people who have aced the exams and uh, that is is most important ma'am because they are hardly a few it is a very small minute percentage who who get a good score and uh, and finally make through into the top tier colleges so getting in touch with them gives you a very good moral boost and uh, there was always a very important thing going on in my mind that if i i need to make this change it has been enough in my organization i have been able to contribute enough i have been able to learn enough and if i do not make this change right now then uh, it would be either too late so the urgency of you know going ahead with the change is also something that keeps you motivated and on your feet yes yes that is something ma'am that always uh, gives a kick to me and what about uh, you know building your personal brand and the storytelling part in terms of building a strong application uh, yes that that came in after this like when i got the score i was quite happy and i wanted to bask in the happiness for a while but uh, the application process was going to end within a week for both b and c so uh, there it was you who came in ma'am uh, because uh, application processes and the storytelling and the essay writing that is not something that i have been ever in touch with or something that i have ever uh, understood previously like we know how to write english we know how to write a letter 
how to write an essay but how to present yourself in a manner that it become it becomes professional it becomes uh, something uh, catchy it becomes uh, how to take up the very minute nuances and project in a in a very beautiful manner that professionalism i think that uh, you are the one ma'am <laughs> who i need to give the full credit to thank you so much you should have things to talk about only then we'll be able to form it into a story so of course you've done great work no thank doubt you, about thank it thank you there are so many mixed reviews about the im interview what was your yes, experience ma'am. like uh, i had my b and c uh, interviews on uh, 4th of november and uh, coincidentally it was something like uh, the interview for b was in the first half and the co- uh, interview for c was in the second half at the same location that was a, a small help that i had uh, b interview was very chilled out uh, there was a professor and there was an alum and uh, they made you feel at ease they didn't they didn't create a tense atmosphere so that the the student or the interview uh, we uh, becomes panicked however the uh, the same thing for c was completely different and i got similar reviews from other inter, uh, other uh, students applicants as well like it was very difficult to uh, understand from the expression of the c panelist that in which direction are you going are you giving the correct answer are you hitting the spot or are you like nowhere and they they are able to crack open like you that was something different in b and c however uh, the interview for a was uh, was something uh, which was very challenging i must say because uh, the way they approach for the interview they give you a chit to to pick up from a bowl so that in itself is something that was like uh, that was playing uh, all through my mind before i was like sitting in the corridor uh, and uh, however i got a topic and uh, i just took a couple of minutes from them and i was able to jot down immediately a couple of points which uh, these all these things had become very a very usual thing to do after uh, after going through the mock tests uh, with sir so i was almost into it i i had gone through those processes previously as well so i could uh, i didn't panic at that moment although i was panicking before the interview but right at, uh, at while giving the interview i i didn't panic but one thing is for sure ma'am that uh, they do not uh, both uh, like all the uh, colleges they don't they don't like uh, put a pressure on you and uh, make you panic or they don't mistreat you in any way they are always try to help you and guide you so that they can get the answer from you rather correct and for the people who are you know just starting off with this journey and having uh, setting out their plans of uh, applying to the mba programs the next year so what would be your uh, tips and what would be the things that you would like to tell them uh, that will be helpful for them in this journey there has been already a few of my friends who got motivated from my uh, from my experience and they are also going going to take up this uh, journey for themselves so the first and foremost and the most important thing that needs to be taken up is that we we are going to take up something for like acing an uh, interview and getting into a college and that is a very crisp and a short time process you cannot like start it and take it up for a year long process you study for a couple of months uh, it might not be one and a half month period for somebody else it might be a two month three month period but we need to close it we need to bring each and every project into a closure it cannot be a lifelong project so once you are decided on to it if this this is the time frame that i am going to uh, set out it becomes uh, automatically things start falling, falling into place you yeah, have to put a deadline yeah, you cannot take people, up everything forever the, the gmat journey actually becomes the longest for so many people that they'll uh, yes spend anywhere from 8 months to 16 months on just uh, writing and rewriting the gmat and uh, one more thing is like if you are not able to uh, get a good score at the first time itself then uh, the whole 8 to 16 months that you were telling it goes into wastage and then again you consider that 8 to 16 month period not enough and you put a more period for it so it is better like it is doable within a uh, within 3 months at least put a deadline book yourself a test go and yes. write the test in a certain time frame so that you know where you stand and then if you have to write it again then you replan and readjust your schedule right exactly correct the most importantly ma'am uh, once again like after going on into the application process and after getting in touch with multiple people this consultancy thing is uh, something uh, once again i have, i have found people like uh, falling into traps and falling into uh, like wrong directions so it is bet- better to go and take up consultancies who have a very established uh, website along with them 
just as you are taking up interviews and you are putting into youtube videos so the the results of whom can be verified uh, should be opted for like if they are having past experiences and they are having friends or known people uh, from whom they can verify the same thing it is the best way to go, go through and uh, obviously somebody if somebody is putting on their uh, their experiences and their knowledge is into the public forum so uh, there there can't be anything better than that absolutely and thank you so much all the best for your uh, journey ahead and do keep in touch